Okay, back here with e uh, on the easy to boot screen. I'm gonna try React OS again. I imagine it would run fine on an older system like a core, uh, you know, a dual core or something. Uh, this is an Athlon. I forgot about that. This is an Athlon, uh, dual core Athlon. So it's not a real new processor, but the motherboard's newer than that. This used to be a e-machines e is what it was. So I'll, I have a ASRock motherboard. The e-machines e motherboard had bad cap syndrome. It popped two caps and had some others ready to pop. That's how come I got it. And trade for rebuilding and partial trade for, you know, the labor for rebuilding somebody a new system. Anyway, I already had this motherboard that I thought I needed and then didn't need it. And it'll go up to 8 gig of RAM and it'll go all the way up to an 8 uh, core AMD uh, processor all the way from a dual core to an eight core it's a pretty cool board uh, and it'll do DDR2 or DDR3 but it only has two RAM slots so you can two, put two four gigs in there and have eight gig and that's the most you can have or you can have well anyway whatever combinations you know standard combinations but uh, I have two one gigs in here uh, DDR2 and a dual core processor. That's what I'm running. So it's not a hot shot machine, but it has a fairly fairly new motherboard. Two, three, four years old now, but that's fairly pretty new for me. So anyway, uh, I'm in the React OS. Uh, okay, now I hit yes and see if it does anything any different, but I don't really expect much of anything. Okay, it gives me a bunch of options. Let's see what we got here. Choose an option. I hit the up arrow key and it put a Y in there. Get that out of there. Let's see. Boot as a typical ISO. Boot as ISO, but swap HD. Okay. O and 1. Force an ISO to boot even if Grub for those things hits unbootable. Uh, E.g. CentOS. Load ISO into memory and boot. Boot with fair FIR Fera disk drivers on the virtual floppy. I don't know if this is a React OS stuff menu that you have options or if it's uh, easy to boot options. Fera disk boot with Fera disk on a virtual floppy. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go through these instead of trying to read them out loud. I don't do too well anyway. Okay, boot ERD commander type ISO with win B block. I'm going to say this is part of React OS. Because it's Windows type stuff. Now wait. But in another line says boot with win B block. No HDD swap for Hiron's ISOs with extracted HBCD folder. Okay, so this is easy to boot boot options thanks to help it it's got a lot of pretty cool it can make things work reading on down Once his boot a Windows ISO that normally fails with blank screen on a bad system. Hmm. Hmm. Use use for Windows ISOs that are missing a bootloader or Linux ones that are missing a bootloader. Yeah, that's a lot of good things to try to remember that are available. Let my hands move, sl sl slide on down there, aren't I? Okay, I'm trying to keep this on the screen while I'm reading. <coughs> okay. 
Boot is a typical ISO, e.g. Linux, e.g. I always say IE, either IE, it's not, I don't know, IE I always think of as either or, but it's IE. Anyway, that's what I grew up with, was IE, not EG. I don't even know what EG is supposed to stand for. I honestly don't know what IE actually stands for either. I just always knew how to use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a need to swap the hard drives or anything. I'm going back into the top. And so it's been trying to boot, uh, but it doesn't make it, or at least it, it not quick enough for me to keep, I don't want to wait forever for it to debug and all that stuff. So it's not really a problem with the boot menu not working. It's not doesn't ex so these are like boot menu switches. Oh, switch command, switch command. So uh, I don't know if any single one of these would actually. Only one that's something like boot a Windows ISO that normally fails with blank screen on a bad system. I'm gonna try that one just since I'm in here. So that's I equals ISO OEO. -E okay, let's see. I. Boot into memory and boot ISO that fell. Oh, let's, wait a minute. Boot into memory. Well, that would just make it take longer, wouldn't it? Try that anyway. I have plenty of memory for this system. This. Boot XP such as ERD commander that gives blank screen and bad system. Okay, I'm gonna say is that an M? Yeah. Okay, M. Let's say M and that's gonna be uh, load into memory and boot ISO that fails with blank screen on a bad system. They say on a bad system, I don't know. Oh, well that just took me back there. But it has a ISO win rescue, let's see. Oh, that's just where I'm at. The yellow down at the bottom. I hadn't really noticed that before. Down towards the bottom. <coughs> okay, so that already went to... Oh, I was hitting the arrow keys and it brought back that command. Of course, you either have a choice of yes or no here. Well, I don't want yes because that brought me into that. So that evidently, that question there is from the uh, easy to boot, not from um, React OS, which is what I thought it was. Okay, so if you don't hit something to boot from the CD, then you're not going to get anywhere. Live CD debug. Whoops, I was going to say I'll hit that, but it did it automatically. But I'm not going to sit here and wait on it forever. I could leave it and then come back later you know I may do that just out of curiosity but I'm really just want to get something going and scanning this thing because even if I take and you know put another rescue ISO on here and boot to that because it takes three or four hours to scan it and I want to get it done uh, this is early morning it's 6 30 now so uh, I woke up about 3 30 this morning this time so I'd like to get it done before it gets hot in here Running two machines. Actually, when the weather's around and cooling, when it's hotter outside, it's nicer in here because the air conditioner runs more. But when it gets to be like below 80 outside, then um, it starts getting hotter in here. So that's what I think it's supposed to do today is not be all that hot. So, okay. So, I guess I'll stop this and I guess I'll let it run about 10 or 15 minutes just to see if it goes through anything and then if it comes back to something I can report on I will but right now I'm gonna say reactive S won't run on this machine I think just seeing what the uh, debug might give me clues as to what the problem is but, uh, but I don't think it's gonna make it work so uh, alright this time bye